Hey guys, today I'm going to talk about a deal of the day uh, on Craigslist and this one has already been sold. So a person who played Magic and she has a deck for 69 cards, uh, she put on Craigslist, I'm going to post everything here, or like, and she was going to sell her collection, she didn't know what it was. In the collection, just randomly, there are three underground seas and there's one Mox Diamond. Everything else is like regular planes and everything else looks very crappy and it's all obviously play condition. And she was asking for one dollar or best offer. Uh, best offer turned out to be like 10 bucks. And that is crazy to me that someone was able to purchase assuming that they were real and it wasn't some elaborate scam. They were able to purchase a Mox Diamond, uh, a Radiant, there's actually a Radiant as well. It's just a very weird kind of collection. Um, it seems like a very weird mix of cards. So normally when people post counterfeits on Craigslist, it's you know play sets of near mint cards. And these cards are heavily played in my opinion. Uh, some of them are. And so I, I would highly doubt that they are fake. Because um, it just doesn't make sense to have this array of cards. So assuming that the person purchased it for $10, they got a really good deal. Um, they got So it is possible for you to get a great deal on Craigslist. I did text a number, obviously, uh, to inquire about you know what was going on with the collection. And obviously, she had a phone call um, as soon as the collection was posted. Uh, the Underground C, I don't see those. She has no idea what any of these cards are worth. Uh, I tried to explain to her, hey, you know, you have some cards worth some money, but it was already like too late at that time. So this was a very interesting collection. Um, see, you know, I don't know what exactly happened to it, but I assume it was sold off for $10 because that is kind of the rate uh, she was talking about at the time. And she's like, oh, you know, I don't know, really play these cards. I don't really know what they are. I just want to get rid of them because he's either moving or something. And so occasionally you can still find very good deals on Craigslist. Uh, obviously a underground C in poor condition goes for, I mean, the poorest condition on TCG player, I just checked it up, goes for $170. So yeah, you made out like a bandit, whoever got this collection and maybe she didn't sell it. I don't know. There's a lot of, uh, there's some red flags about this particular Craigslist posting, but not as many as uh, postings that happen all the time in Houston where a person is trying to sell a place at a near mint of every dual land. That one raises a lot of red flags. This one to me, I, I don't know. The cards look very damaged, so I don't think um, it would have to be very elaborate. Plus the fact that they're selling for $10. Uh, counterfeiters typically sell for close to retail. Um, because otherwise you would know it's a counterfeit, right? On Craigslist. So Craigslist, typically not a place I would recommend buying magic cards, but this is a very, very interesting magic. Um, I actually reported a fake Craigslist posting to Wizards of Coast a week ago. Uh, I haven't got a response back from them. And, but just keep reporting it. So if you find like, you know, stuff that raises red flags and it's very easy to tell, it's, you know, 50 cards, they're identical to the list of counterfeits and they're in play sets and they're all near mint. <laughs> you know, that's not uh, underground C, like near mint underground C, a true perfect near mint underground C. I don't know if that actually exists. Um, remember cards on that paper stock, they do degrade through time and it's been over 20 years for some of these cards. Uh, anything that you've had for 20 years, that's not going to be the same quality even if you took excellent care of it. But uh, Craigslist find $10. I'm gonna go ahead and say it's $10, not $1, for a free underground seas and a Mox Diamond and a Radiant. The Radiant looks beautiful, by the way. I love that card. I kind of wish I had a foil version of her. That's definitely a card I'm, I should probably pick up sometime soon. Uh, anyway, that's a very good story and it's to give you guys some inspiration to go out in flea markets, um, pawn stores, stores. <laughs> <laughs> I keep thinking of the uh, TV show where they rip people off <laughs> and um, uh, convenience stores, I don't know, what else would have magic cards? Uh, flea markets, I guess, garage sales, uh, Craigslist, it still exists. The epic find can, is still out there. Good luck, guys. Bye.